Well, hopefully. Uh, yeah, we're only doing binomials times binomials today, so let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, so does anybody remember how we did this on Friday? Okay, we did 2x, kind of double distributive property. We did 2x times both of those, negative 1 times both of those. Um, these are very common, so that's why we're kind of doing it again. They want, they're trying to make it easier for you. And somebody come up, came up with this acronym called FOIL. You guys heard of this before? Yes. First, outer, inner, left. First, outside, inside, left. So what do they mean by first? The first means the first terms in both polynomials get multiplied together. So in this case, it would be 2x times x. Okay, what does the outside mean, do you think? Okay, the outside means this is the middle, right? So the outside would be the ones away from the middle. So it would be 2x times 5, like 10x. Okay, we're not going to be writing this every time. I'm just kind of showing you. I means inside. The inside means the 2 towards the middle, the 2 terms in the middle, negative 1 times x. In this case, that would be negative x. And the L stands for last. So the last would be the second term in both, the, the last term in both. So negative 1 times 5. So we're basically doing the same thing, but now we just have like a method? Yeah, this is just, I mean, you don't really need to use this. We didn't use this on Friday, but this is, because these are common, this is to kind of help you to map it out in your head, I guess. Make sure that you do all four of these. Uh, the answer is still going to be the same. It's 10x squared plus, or sorry, 2x squared plus 10x minus x minus 5. But usually, remember from Friday, on these kinds, the middle two terms are like terms, so we will be putting them together. So our answers will pretty much always look like that. Okay. These can go quickly. Well, let's start slowly, make sure we're doing it right. Number one, page 386, uh, x plus five, x plus two. I feel like we stopped. I feel like it's Bo. Is it Bo? Uh, I feel like we stopped at a row, so maybe we stopped at Jesse, Jesse, Joe on Friday. Okay. Anybody want to volunteer then? Okay, Davin, number one. So what would the first be? Yeah, by the way, you guys don't have to multiply, or sorry. You guys don't have to write the problem down because it's usually just, sometimes it's necessary like on equations, but in this case it'd be busy with, okay, outside, what's the outside going to be? It's going to be 2x. Uh, right. And then inside. Um, plus 5x. Um, and last. 10 plus 10. All right. You guys see how that worked? Okay, and then the middle two terms are going to go together, so it's x squared plus 7x plus 10. Great. Number 3, a plus 6, a minus 4. All right, uh, James, um, first. Negative 4a plus 6a is um, 2a. It's positive 2a, so I'm going to put a plus 2a right there. X times X. 
side. Be these two. So one times x. You could say it's one x, but you can also just say it's x. Okay, inside. Negative two x. And last. Last means the last term in each polynomial, so it'd be negative two times one. That's adding. So negative two times one is just negative two. Okay, then the middle terms are going to go together. This is 1x minus 2x. So what's 1 minus 2? Negative 1. So it'll be negative 1x, or you can just say minus x. Plus one B minus five. All right, kitten, first. B squared. Outside. Negative five. Inside. B. And last. Okay, what is negative 5d plus 1d? Negative 4d. Okay, c minus 3 times c minus 3. Uh, do you guys know another way they could have written this problem? It's going to come up later. C minus 3 squared. Right. C minus 3 times C minus 3 is the same thing as C minus 3 squared. That's what squared means. You take the whole thing times itself. So when you see something like this, it's actually a FOIL problem. you got to work it out like this. We're going to see that later. Okay. Uh, Brooks, what's first? Uh, that would be second. Let's start with this. What's in the front? C2. C squared. And then the outside. Negative 3C. Negative 3C. And the inside. And the last. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Okay, so that was multiplying, and then when we go back to simplify, we're adding and subtracting. So it's negative 3c minus 3c. No. Negative 3c minus 3c. Negative 6c. Okay, number 11, x minus 6, x plus 2. Okay, Owen, what's first? First, we multiply the x's, so okay. it'll be x to second. Outside. And then 2x. Inside. And then negative 6x. And last. Okay, so plus 2x minus 6x, or you could think of it as negative 6. 4x. First on this one. Okay. Um, S yep. S times S. <clears throat> then that's first. And then outside. 
uh, <clears throat> outside. Inside. Inside. These two. Seven ads. And then last. So last means the ones towards the end. So that'd be negative seven times negative nine. Positive 63, so we'll just put up the plus right there. Okay, and then to simplify this, we got negative 9s minus 7s can add together. So negative 9s minus 7s is going to be negative 16s. Jose, you got your book? Okay, 15. Why minus 5 by plus 5? Alright. There's something kind of special about this problem. It's going to happen a few times. Special enough they actually gave these two things names. When they're kind of alike but not, they call them constants. <coughs> Let's find out what. Oh, Brian is not here. Moses, what's the first going to be? Outside, 5y, inside, and last. Okay, what's going to happen to the 5y and minus 5y? They cancel out, like 0y, is 0. So, all we're left with is y squared minus 25. Don't put plus zero y or whatever. It goes away. Um, that's going to happen whenever you have like twins, but one's a plus and one's a minus. So you're going to, the middle terms will cancel out. Number 17. Is that going to happen on this one? All right, Manny, what's the first going to be? A squared. A squared. Uh, outside. A seven A. Inside. Negative seven A. <laughs> and it's got. All right, the last is negative four nine. Okay, seven A minus seven A is zero. <clears throat> so it's just a squared minus 49. Okay, is that going to happen on this one? No, it will not. Uh, so Josiah, I don't know if you noticed, but it's basically what we're doing on Friday. Uh, it's called a uh, foil method. But it's just a way of keeping track of everything you need to multiply. Remember on Friday, we were, we were like distributing these two on those two, like this? Same thing. F stands for first. So the first being the first terms in each polynomial. So x times x. So what is x times x? Remember? X squared. X squared. And then the O stands for the outside, the outside being away from the middle. So that would be x times negative 8. So what's negative 8 times x? Right. Can't really do anything with that. And then the inside would be the ones close to the middle, negative 8 times x. Oh, that negative 8x again. Okay, and then the last, L stands for the last. That would be... <coughs> the second terms in both polynomials. So negative eight times negative eight is positive 64, so negative times eight. And then a lot of times when we FOIL, these middle terms will be like terms, so they can't add together. So what's negative eight X minus eight X? 
negative 8x minus 8x. No, that would be negative 8x plus 8x. Okay, negative 8, so negative 8 minus 8. It's kind of like saying I'm $8 in debt and I lose $8. So you're 16. So I'm 16 in debt. So it's negative uh, 16x. That's why I was stepping this way. I'm just trying to help you guys visualize the number line. I don't know if you can tell. Negative 8 is 8 to the left. Minus 8 is 8 to the left. So all the way out to negative 16. What do you want? A minus B, A minus B. Oh no, no numbers. Time to panic. Leah, what is going to come first? A squared. A squared, yes. That's true. Okay, and then the outside would be. A times negative B. Well, can we simplify A times B? No. But if one of them is negative, it's going to be negative or minus. So just A times B. Can't really clean that up any. Okay, and then the inside is negative B times A. What would that be? Okay, B times A, does that simplify? No. And you could just call it BA, but to keep it in alphabetical order so they all kind of look like, BA is the same thing as AB. And because the B is negative, when there's one negative and you're multiplying, it's going to stay negative. So negative B times A is negative. B A or negative A B. Okay, and then the last would be the negative B times negative B. We haven't done that one yet, right? So what is negative B times negative B? Positive B. Right. Because remember on the front, A times A was A squared, like you said. So yeah, it's positive B squared. Okay, and then in the middle here, if there's no number in front of these, what number is in front of these? One. one. So we have negative one minus one. Negative one minus one. Okay, we switch from multiplying. If we were multiplying, that would have been a positive one. But if we're adding, it's like shifting left one, shifting left one. So what's negative 1 minus 1? Negative 2. A, B. Alright, 23. X plus 3, X plus 3. Okay. Some of you might be getting the pattern. Um, these can go very quickly. And I'll, I'll give you an example here. This is x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. So it's x squared plus 3x plus 3x. So it's x squared plus 6x plus 9. Twenty-five. Corbin will give you twenty-five. Uh, three x plus two x plus four. All right, Corbin. What would the first be? Well, x times x is what? 
Well, it's x times x, right, x squared. So the 3 times x, we can't really do anything with that, but the x times x part is x squared. So yeah, it's 3x squared for the first. How about the outside? It would be 12x. Plus 12x inside. And last. Okay, so we have 3x squared plus what? 14x. Whoopsie. All right, all right. 27, 5z minus 6, 3z plus 2. Okay, uh, AJ, what would the first be? Uh, 5Z times 3Z, mm -hmm. which is like 15Z, 3 Right? Yeah, 5 times 3 is 15, Z times Z is Z squared, yep. Okay, you know what comes next? Uh, 10Z. Right, outside, 5Z times 2 is 10Z. Next. Inside. Yep. And the last negative six times two. Okay. So we have fifteen z squared, and then what's ten z minus eighteen z? Right. Plus four twenty nine. All right. Uh, this one just says a plus six squared. Now, unfortunately, I still have some algebra two students who would write this down as the answer, and it disappoints me. Hopefully, this will not be you in two years. Okay. Earlier, I talked about this one. Do you guys remember what I said? A plus six squared means what? A plus 6 times A plus 6. Yeah. A plus 6 times A plus 6. So we're not just doing A times A and 6 times 6. We're not just squaring this and this. We're, everything is getting multiplied to everything. It's a FOIL problem. Okay. When can you just do A times A and 6 times 6? When there's one term like this, that would actually work. You just, 6A times 6A is 36A squared. But when it's two terms like this, it doesn't work. Or three terms, or four terms. So you have to FOIL it out. Everything times everything. In this case, FOIL. All right. But we did end up on you. So, Bo, what would the first be? Uh, would you do A times A? Yep. Uh, the A squared. Yeah. Outside? Uh, 6A. Uh-huh. Inside? Yeah, and last. Yep, no, you're right the first time. All right, 36. So we got a squared plus 12a plus 36. Okey doke.